pumpkins. They are using their cutting skills right now on the uh, big jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. Dr. Donahue, how's it going? Do you have any just great. It's Having just, a wonderful time. What is the key to uh, carving a good pumpkin or, or cutting open a, a human? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, on a pumpkin, most important thing is not to hurt yourself while you're carving. Okay. Have you hurt yourself? Never. 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 So that's why I'm wearing this glove to protect my hands. Very important part of my body. And, and, and what uh, do you do for your day job? Obviously, you've got a fancy title here. Oh, I'm the, what they call the chief medical officer at this hospital. Oh, so. he's, he's a big deal. And uh, right now, though, for 30 minutes, you get to carve this pumpkin. Are, 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 you, are you hoping that you win? I'm always hoping that I win. You bet. <laughs> and uh, what it, talk to me about your design. This is a Charlie Brown pumpkin. I like and it. You see it when it's in its glory. Okay. So. Well, we're going to go over to talk to your competition. Okay. Because look at that. Do you see that tool that he's using? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Doctor, what is your name? Uh, Dr. Chris Smith. Uh, Chris Smith. And what do you do? I know you're a doctor, but what do you specialize in? I, I'm a neurosurgeon. I, I specialize in brain tumors and epilepsy. <laughs> he's a neurosurgeon, and now you're operating on a pumpkin. How is this compared to a human? Uh, it's it's more forgiving, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that's good. And you, you've got meme all, all dirty, and you're dirty, so this is just pumpkin shavings just all over pumpkin you? pumpkin shavings all over me. That's right. Okay, so, I think you're going to win this competition. Talk to me about your design. Well, I really wanted to give a shout out to all the local sports teams, the D-backs, the Cardinals, the uh, the Suns, who really help us in our brain tumor research program. Every year we sponsor a race with the D-backs, race against cancer. I have brain tumor survivors to go out with us. With the Suns, I've had uh, by the honor of meeting Jared Dudley Center Court and meeting having a patient, a 10-year survivor of brain tumor with him out there. And just really want to thank them for their support. And also the Cardinals, they help us with the Muhammad Ali Parkinson's Research Center. And so it's really just a great trip. Get a lot of love from the sports teams. And look at that. You've got a good-looking pumpkin there. And I think I think you might have a chance at winning. Before we go, we're going to take a look at one more as I try to maneuver my way through. Good morning, surgeon. How are you? You're on TV right now. What do you have going on? What are you working on? Uh, well, this is something my team came up with. This is aliens. Aliens. Oh, oh you kind of have to look at it from here, but very cool. And the face and the screaming. and so. You think you're going to win? For sure. For, for sure. sure. The competition, guys, is on here at St. Joseph's Hospital for the annual Doc O'Lantern contest. And they have about nine minutes, so we'll see who. Uh, yesterday is probably, uh, uh, most certainly, our last triple digit day of the year. We're not in. Good. That's good. <laughs> All nice right. Peter. Up top, buddy. Tickets. I know we have to wrap. Where can we get tickets? You can get tickets for the, on our website, which is www.fhtaz.org, or the phone number, which is 480-837-9661. Awesome. Peter, okay. thank, thank you. you. And look who made it out here. So Celeste. There she rocking is. the Fox 10 shades. Hey, friends. Looking good. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everyone. Enjoying some time out here with these kiddos. These are some Empire sunglasses. You can come out here in the wheel, enjoy some tunes, and have with fun with us as well this morning. So I want to introduce you guys to some of these cool kids that are out with us. Okay, I'm going to make the rounds. Give me your names. My name's Ethan. I live in Fountain Hills on Dixie, Montreal. I'm you are a sweetheart. Okay, keep going. What's your name? James. Emily. Azalea. Okay, back here. Corey. Roy, Elena, Taryn, Zaya. What's your name? Cooper. Oh, okay. And then this little guy right here, turn around for me because you've got the shades on just like me. What's your name, sweetheart? Nicholas. Nicholas, what? And tell me, I mean, you must be really excited. You're four years old now, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to be for Halloween? Iron Man. Iron Man. That's right, because you got these huge guns. What a sweetheart he is. Come out, guys. You guys can hang out with us. We're right next to the fountain. Listen to some tunes. Hanging with these kiddos. Look at this. Look at this one. Okay, spin the wheel, my friend. Thank you, Celeste. That wheel is always a draw, isn't it? Yeah, did you see the prizes yeah, we're giving out? I want, I want a coffee cup. I, I, can, I can get you a coffee cup. You got a hookup? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know people. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, here in Fountain Hills having a great time. And, you know, this is, the great thing about Fountain Hills is this community sits down kind of in the middle of yeah. the desert. The right? desert. So you can get out. It's a beautiful Sonoran desert. Acrobatics yoga.
tonight at 9, Acro Yoga, a mix of acrobatics yoga and flying massage. You might imagine in your first class you'll be on the floor doing a lot of stretching, but 15 minutes in, Patrick promises he'll have you up in the air. Christy Siefkin shows us Acro Yoga on Fox 10 News at 9 tonight. This is y'all's party, Harry. Don't miss the party, weekdays at 2. Dear Hillary Clinton, I'd like to ask you why you ignored... Are perfect, yeah, I think. It's really think mild so out here this morning. We've got a great crowd. They welcomed we us here in Fountain oh, Hill they did. with open arms. And we're like next to a little fountain. What if I did this to you? You better what not. What if I did this? What if I did it? We wouldn't no. be talking the rest of the morning. <laughs> All right. No. Oh, the crowd is saying do Don't it. <laughs> We got the whole uh, group out here, and uh, Celeste is with a, a great group of people that have an upcoming turkey trot. Turkey trot. Get your run on. Hello, Celeste. You too. Good morning, everyone. Absolutely. And as you mentioned, if you got these tunes going on that we're hearing all morning long, you can hang out here all day. They got all kinds of cool stuff here in Fountain Hills. This is Grace right here. And Grace, you guys have a really cool event coming up just in time for Thanksgiving. We got the turkey out here as well. We absolutely do. This is Mr. Gobbleson. He's our official Fountain Hills turkey for our turkey trot. It is an amazing family friendly event. Um, open to all ages. We have a 5K, we have a one mile walk. I mean, Truly, this is fun for the whole family. Not only can he trot, but he can groove. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, when you dress the turkey, he brings everything else. He's got the moves. So tell me, I mean, really, stuff has really come together here in Fountain Hills. I have to say, it is a beautiful part of the valley. Well, thank you so much. I mean, we're so incredibly proud of, well, our little slice of amazing here. It's just, it's it's beautiful. And how can people learn more about the event? A website, something like that? Absolutely. Um, we have all of the social media. We have an amazing tourism website. If you want to jump on www.experiencefountainhills.org, that is our main website. It has registration. It has info. It has everything you need, not just about Turkey Trot, but about Fountain Hills. Awesome. Great, Grace. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you. Lots of fun in Fountain Hills. More to come. All right, Celeste. Thank you very much. So much fun. Okay. Uh, so if you want to explore the desert I in a different out way. In the desert. Yeah, Mr. Adventure and over here loves fast this. When you're out there. <laughs> John joins us now from Desert Dog. John, thanks for being here. You've got you got hummers, you got buggies. Tell me about what you do. Well basically what we do, we've been in business for over twenty years. One of the old school ones, too, almost like military. Correct. It's an H1, and it is old school. It's the original Hummer. And then we also do them in an H2, which is a newer style. And the open air in the back, people sit back there? Correct. They sit back. They can enjoy the scenery, fresh air, everything Arizona has to offer. Tell and these are this. so fun. Now, you actually built this. This is like pre, like everybody's into the razors now. This is kind of pre razor, you said. Correct. It's pre razor. We have an off road shop called Desert Dog. you're ever going to see. It's dropped dead gorgeous. And really, this is kind of one of the only ways to really see it, to get back in there, huh? Correct. Yes, it is. It's to really get back in and see the beauty that Arizona has to offer. Making a list, I am. <laughs> hey, Corey, what's up, buddy? It's great out here, isn't it? Got the cute. Morning, everybody. Morning, and look, look at your friends from Brownton Hills. Look at all their faces. They're up early. We've had such a great time out here this morning. Everybody's up. We got people of all ages. We got dogs. We got kids. And we've got Lou Mirabella. Thanks, Lou. Uh, he runs Choco Fiend. And we're going to talk to you and show off your beautiful wares coming up here in just a moment. Well, I'll take that and I will raise you a pack of wolves, cheerleaders, football players. We got the drum line over here. We are at Chandler High School getting them all jacked up for their big game against Hamilton tonight. Take it away, Patrick. Woo! We'll be right back.
the year. We're not anticipating uh, uh, temperatures to get that high. Years ago, giving him a band. I met him my first spring. Husband, and um, I used to act. And he's always thinking about me. That's a person that you want to look up to right there. That is an awesome story, and you personally know this family. Yeah, we do. Well, as you know, Mark's my husband, and um, I used to actually interview. Campbell's grandmother Joyce uh, at the Race for the Cure every year and we really had a bond and I loved seeing her um, and she passed away from breast cancer uh. and we've stayed in touch with their family so that is her grandson so we have long been a, a part of Campbell's crew <laughs> and I think I'm rooting for the Cubs just you know you have for to him, yeah, yeah, yeah for them do. absolutely oh, so, I love that talk about your forecast yeah. here I got to take the green band off because we're on the green screen and that's oh, just trouble here, right? You think? Let's what? try it. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> let's go with your bus stop uh, uh, forecast for this morning. For kids heading out the door this morning, it's really mild out there. You can still wear those shorts. Not this morning, uh, but later today. So yeah, see, it keys out. Goes right through it there with the green. Kind of spooky for Halloween. All right, I'm going to take this off, although, Campbell, we love you. All right, let's talk about uh, uh, the forecast for the rest of this weekend ahead. It's a big weekend uh, for Halloween parties and festivities going on around the valley and across the state. It's going to be warm this week and not as hot as yesterday's triple digits. The clouds are helping this morning. Uh, we're seeing them stream in here from the southwest and the west. All that rain that's moving on shore in California is really going to stay to the north of Arizona. But there is a slight chance for some rain in northern and especially northwest in Arizona today. Even a slight chance, as I mentioned, for some valley sprinkles later today. Timeline here in the corner for your future cast as we go through today. Again, models are kind of showing the bulk of that moisture stays to our north, but again, there is a slight chance. We'll see a little more green on the radar than what this that particular model is showing. Over the weekend, we continue to see warm weather in Arizona, partly sunny skies tomorrow, a little bit more cloud cover on Sunday, but we'll kind of hover in the low 90s still on Sunday. Another storm system uh, approaching from the west. That's going to cool us off a little bit more as we get into early next week. So Halloween, we will finally drop back into the 80s and next week looks just a little bit cooler than this week has been. 66 today, you're high in Flagstaff, 78 for Prescott, uh, 76 for Prescott, and 78 for Payson. We'll be in the low to mid 90s in the deserts of the state, including 94 in the valley. Again, here also Friday light. The slowest freeway and the only uh, freeway we're seeing a traditional rush hour, I-10 out of Ahwatukee. Ray Road to downtown, you're looking at a 30-minute drive time. Since it's relatively quiet, let me give you a heads up about this weekend construction closure. It's a biggie. The 202 Red Mountain Freeway here in North Mesa. The eastbound side's going to be shut down from Gilbert up and around over past Power Road over to McDowell. We'll see that closure go into effect tonight at 10 p.m. It will be closed all weekend long, not due to open again until Monday morning at 5 a.m. Thank you, Gina. 751 hours of work and four. Oh, yes. Riverside's famous Halloween light show is back for year number eight. And as you can see, it gets better each year. This one involving 400,000 LED lights that dance and flash for the duration of seven songs from the Rocky Horror Picture Show <laughs> blasted over loudspeakers. It's so popular, there are now multiple shows a night, four nights a week. Boy, I hope how, all the neighbors are friendly, uh, right? Yeah, I hope so. How do you top that? You, well, if you're in the mood for a good scare this Halloween... The Grand Canyon. Canyon may have what you're looking for. Uh, the Canyon is one of the most haunted national parks in the country. There Hiking accident. Food 
truck Friday. We know that in Chicago they love deep dish pizza and dogs, but what about in Cleveland? It's the Cleveland corned beef food truck pulling up out front of Good Morning Arizona. And I'm Scott Passmore. You like a lot of folks and you go through life with agonizing back pain. A best-selling author will show you how to relieve that pain, she says, without surgery. Coming up in about 20 minutes. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Tess Raffles. Hand rolled and no artificial flavors. Donuts. And how about if we say they're free? It's a surprise squad freebie Friday live at Rollover Donuts on Roosevelt and First Street. Good morning, Arizona. I would love to run into Tess when she's buying donuts, wouldn't it. you? So I'll tell you what, I'll hold down the fort, you run down there, <laughs> bring back a couple dozen, and we're good to go for this yes. Friday. I know there's a way we could do We'll do a quick disguise so they won't know it's us. We'll get some free <laughs> breakfast. No, Tess, it's not me. It's not no, your co-worker and friend. No. You know, you look different, but you still have those dimples. <laughs> there's something about those dimples. Oh, dimples. just give me those donuts, They're right? Disguise. Yeah. All right, let's talk about temperatures as you expert who led controversial assemblies at Payson High School. Controversial, not just because of the message, but because of who was required to hear it. Why was it mandatory for girls and not for boys? A public school assembly on dating and sex, mandatory for girls, but not for boys. It was just something that as a parent I was concerned about. While recordings of the Payson assemblies haven't surfaced, the message of them is found in Henning's YouTube videos, saying girls should not provoke uncontrollable boys. Don't give in to the sex thing because as soon as you do you train that guy to be a sexually undisciplined badly it's giving the message that it's up to you girls to stop the boys and if you don't then you're wrong and you're guilty and you're shaming and then it lets the boys off the hook and when you're a star they let you do it you can do anything <laughs> whatever you want we are continuing the rape culture Ignorant trash to impressionable minds. Basically, it's saying that there are different standards for girls. Absolutely. Love is 17-year-old Chrislyn Alford was actually there. This is the second time I've heard the assembly. She and her mom, Krista, say Henning's message is being misconstrued. People want to make something... Joe Yonner set to retire, but the celebration is expected to include some local protesting. Some Valley residents set to protest br police brutality during his retirement celebration. Organizers say they are mourning the 17 people who were killed by police officers in 2016 here in Phoenix. They plan to gather outside the Phoenix Convention Center at 1.30 this afternoon. And that time coinciding with the police chief's retirement reception, which goes until 3 p.m., scheduled to hand over the position to the incoming chief, Jerry Williams. The swearing-in ceremony for the new chief is expected to go until 4.30. Mayor Greg Stanton and city manager Ed Zerker is among those expected to make remarks. Tensions over the Dakota Access Pipeline continue to rise as hundreds of protesters clash with police in North Dakota. Officers there are trying to remove roadblocks and illegal encampments from private lands that were blocking construction of the pipeline. They were forced to use pepper spray, they say, beanbag rounds and sirens to remove those demonstrators. of Jennifer Lawrence and other female celebrities has been sentenced. Ryan Collins will serve 18 months behind bars as part of a plea deal. He pleaded guilty in March to violating the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act by hacking and then... Weird. Lex Camilleri's wrote the letter to...
17 to 51. But we are done with the rush hour here. Stick a fork in it. It has been Friday light. Same story on the I-10 out of the west side. Look at that. 101 to downtown. Less than 20 minutes now. That's a little bit of good news. In the East Valley, it has been Friday light here as well. With one exception, of course, I-10. You can see where all the brake lights are here where our sensors have changed. But by the time you get to 40th Street, it starts to break up. Since it is nice and quiet, want to give you a heads up on this weekend construction here. This is a pretty big closure. The Red Mountain Freeway, the 202 in North Mesa. Eastbound is going to be closed from Gilbert Road up and around to McDowell, just past Power Road. So it's going to be that long stretch there. Uh, that goes into effect tonight at 10. It won't open again until Monday morning. So make sure you make plans to get around that. Well, that's a check of your traffic in April um, this uh, weekend. I think it's tonight at Chandler Park, AJ Chandler Park. Okay. They're having a spooktacular. So if you want to get, you know, your Halloween on just a little bit early, get the yeah. kids out there. They can wear their costumes. There are all kinds of fun activities going on out there. Oh, sounds good. All right. Well, they may get a few sprinkles out there tonight. We've got a slight chance for that in the forecast for today. Overcast skies this morning uh, with no rain in your morning forecast. And really rain is pretty unlikely this afternoon. There's just that slight chance that we may get just a Okay, Marcy, I'll just, I'll tee it up. You take it away. Marcy is out with the Chandler Wolves. How's Hi it going guys. out there, girl? Yes, we are here at Chandler High School. We are on stage with the Wolf Pack right now. This is so exciting. We are getting all ready for their game against Hamilton tonight. Hi, girl. Hi. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? We're going to win. We are going to win. Okay, now we have the whole crowd of football players here. Dog eat. <laughs> I go through about a 50-pound dog food bag in about a week. Oh, Whoa! 
Yeah, we uh, we run a rescue with AZ Massive Rescue. Yeah. That's where these guys are from, but these are my own personal dogs that I've rescued. I mean, look at the size of this well, dog next to me. Thanks for what you do, sir. What oh, can I get you a napkin, Jason. buddy, or a Jason, tissue or something? And the dog's yeah, name? Hey, this is Bruce. Out in Fountain Hills. Having Lucy. a great time. Okay, we'll be Bruce right back. Lucy. Good boy. Hook and Lake, weeknights at 5 and 9 on Fox 10 News. Inferno will be unleashed. Oh my god. We are, and they've welcomed us uh, here in the zip code of 85268. Ooh, because it's a zip trip. Yes, it is. That's very good. We got Showing tubes the love. going. Yep. Dogs all over the place. Kids having fun. Yeah, we have so much more coming up in the next hour and a half. So let's get to Ron though first. Absolutely, with Ron. some headlines, Ron. Really, there's a, like a jewelry store with 70% off or something that Corey could do, you guys, when it comes to the signage out there. It's 8:30. Here we go with the top news stories now from AZ. AM. And boy, what a rough commute in one of the toughest cities in the country to try to get around. Take a look at some of these pictures. Just in this morning from New York, where a man tried scaling the George Washington Bridge. It connects New York and New Jersey, one of the busiest bridges in the country. And of course, he did it right at the height of rush hour. So the guy with no shirt on climbs one of the towers for nearly an hour. The upper level of the bridge had to be closed in both directions. Emergency crews were just trying to get him down. Half a dozen police officers surround the guy before grabbing him on top of the bridge. Police have yet to say what exactly he was doing up there, but it's the second time this week that bridge has had to be shut down in the morning commute. It was just Wednesday that 10 protesters chained themselves together and blocked the bridge. Republican vice presidential nominee Mike Pence talking this morning about his close call last night at New York's LaGuardia Airport. His plane slid off the runway during heavy rain. The plane got stuck halfway on the tarmac and halfway in the grass. We probably off, off the runway. His son, who is a Marine Corps aviator, said to him, Dad, look, any landing you walk away and speeding while pointing a light at Moscow. Uh, optical illusions. Here we go. Okay. What's it look like? Uh, here we go. Looks like you're gargling no. with your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, we try. Yeah, we try. We're having, We're having fun. fun out here. Fun with the fountain. Okay, uh, life hack time. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the life hack. And this one is in case this weekend you have a Halloween party and you need fake blood and you don't have any. Oh. Easy at home recipe, okay? okay? I think we're going to put blood. it up on the screen. Okay. One tablespoon of cornstarch. All right. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. Huh. Add some water until it starts to get like a glue-like consistency, like Elmer's right. glue-like. Right. Then red food coloring. Ooh. And the more red food coloring, the deeper the color. Just play with it. And there you hmm. go. It's all natural. It's from your pantry and it costs you nothing. Love it. Right, right? there. Good hack. There you go. Good Happy Halloween. Hills hack. Now, we've been having music out here all morning. Yeah. And there's been a DJ who's been rocking the tunes. Corey is with that DJ right now. Hey, Corey. You going to scratch some out? Hey, buddy. Oh. Tino's doing the scratching. Tino Cuccino is here from uh, Power 98.3. Listen to this. Watch his fingers and listen to what happened. I love the way guys like you are superstars when it comes to really moving a crowd around. Likes all that bass. That's what we're talking about.
this out all morning long. The no twos have been great. See these gals over here, oh, including yeah. Celeste. Let's get them moving, would you? Throw down some, throw down a heavy groove. Celeste likes all that bass. That's what we're talking about. Tune him in, my friends. Tino Cacino, Power 98.3, 3 to 7 p.m. here in Phoenix and all over the U.S. of A. See you soon. He's good. He's good, isn't he? Yeah. For those that kind of music, I love yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Turn Popping. down for what? Thumping. What would you just say? That's the song. Turn down for what? <laughs> I'm going to make him hip. I promise you. Uh, I That's always my mission. what they said. Now I know. Turn down for what? Turn down for what is that? What's the move? <laughs> <laughs> Marcy, I'm I know, trying. Save me. Marcy's hip I'm too. Trying. I know. <laughs> you guys, it's all about football tonight. Chandler versus Hamilton, but right now it is all about these guys performing. Coming up, we are having a special competition at this amazing blue pep rally. Children's Hospital celebrates smart parents and healthy kids. This Halloween, help your allergy-prone children stay safe. Carry an EpiPen while trick-or-treating. Look for houses with teal... everyone out here in Fountain Hills for our zip trip and Fountain Hills is where it's at especially looking ahead in the fall Sharon yes. with the Chamber of Commerce right. tell us about what you have coming up Sharon well two weeks from today this place will be alive with 500 artists this oh. right here nice and an art festival art festival of all kinds of art big from Thanksgiving Day Parade Thanksgiving Day Parade only one west of the Mississippi uh, well, Home, hometown flavor right you know the crepe paper floats the whole nine yards uh, how nice. and then and then, uh, first week of December, we turn on the lights here. Oh. Weekend, and we have Santa come, so it's strolling the globe. So that's, wow. there's a few things to happen in the next five weeks. So get up here. Family fun for everybody. No doubt. Sure, Thanks, and great Sharon. meeting you. Thank nice you. Meeting. Nice Good meeting Good job. You. What a great community this is. Oh, we love it. Yeah. Yes, I've enjoyed being tell. up here this morning, for sure. All right, where are we headed? Marcy Chandler Marcy High. Jones. Yeah, it's Friday night. That means there's a high school sorry, football I'm game somewhere. A bunch the of them. <laughs>
breathe right now? A little. Yowza. Are you going to stay in that for the whole game? Yeah, of course. Here we go, Leo! He's the champion of the day! I think, right, I right, think Marcy right, might be their good luck they charm tonight. tonight. Yes, they are with you out there yeah. handing them up, sister. <laughs> Marcy's a hit. She is. Go Chandler. Yes. Boom. Hey, we're Chandler. making all kinds of friends I know. Here. Who do you have here? How are you? Hi, what's your name? Man. Hey, man. I interviewed your granddaughter earlier, didn't I? You did. She's a sweetheart. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I think so, too. And I look, love your town. Stacy and Bodie came out as well. Playing. Hey, guys. Did you get to skip school? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. She's a good mom. Every now and then, it's okay. Right. Thanks for coming out. Oh, yes, thank you. You'll you write guys. a note, right? It was great to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> hey, Celeste is checking out some artwork. What do you have, Celeste? Hey, good morning, you guys. Tunes, Tino from 98.3. And when we come back, we're talking about this amazing art exhibit. An opportunity, probably, to come out and buy some really amazing art. After the break, we'll be right back. wanted to meet us and uh, we're so glad you did because it was a pleasure meeting you but today is a very special day for you yeah. happy birthday thank my you friend very much. so how you. how young are you tell me uh, 29 yep. 29 yeah. okay okay so you can have a celebratory cocktail potentially yeah. later yeah. Uh, and tell me what you love about the community of Fountain Hills well I've been out here since 83 and um, every it's just a good community everybody knows everybody and everybody's kind and absolutely just beautiful, beautiful. Karen have a wonderful birthday Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about this event they have going every single Thursday. Good morning to you, morning. Connie. Tell me about your gorgeous art that we see here behind you. These are all hand-painted outdoor items. Um, I do cactus, pillows. Uh, Very colorful and yeah, so beautiful. Cool. Yes, yes. Suns, all types of metal art. Um, I also do polystone resin. Um, it's all about the color. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Do you have a website? I do. Colorsbyconnie.com. Yes, it works so well. Colors by Connie. Thank you, Connie. And then right along, you can see that you have some clothing here. This is Diane. And Diane, some of your uh, clothing can be on is on display every Thursday, right? Every Thursday uh, from 11 to 5. And um, we live here in town and we've been doing uh, the show for seven years now. Wow. So tell me about your work. Um, these are all 100% cotton. They're made in the United States. And um, we've been doing this for 29 years now. So. I love Love that made in America, right. Diane. Just amazing. All right, and we have one more to show you guys at home as well. This beautiful jewelry here. Uh, good morning to you, good Judy. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Tell us about this event every Thursday, right? Every Thursday. This is our seventh season. I started it to create foot traffic for our downtown, and now we're a destination. People from the valley come up, bring their guests. It's a wonderful event. Absolutely. And your art and jewelry, I have to say, is beautiful. I consider it art work as well. Absolutely. It's wearable art. Okay. And your website where folks can find more of it? Um, designs by Judy Yates okay. or Yates.com. Um, also, we have the gallery here. Many of my artists are also in the Fountain Hills Artist Gallery. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You for... Pleasure to meet you, Judy. All right. We're going to send it to Andrea and Troy with more fun from Fountain Hills. Hey, you two. Hey. Remember Bobby Riggs oh, and Billie Jean King? Remember? You can't oh, do that. Sorry. That's what we got going on here. A little tennis, a little Fountain Hill tennis. All right. Andrea, I'm coming at you. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Not fair. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go, Corey. Yes. She's right. Selection matters to you. When you open your health insurance bill and find your premiums are doubling, remember that McCain strongly opposes Obamacare, but Kirkpatrick supports it.